my snuck out to Home Depot because I'm just gonna start a ton of seeds and the greenhouse isn't quite ready to hold seeds and it's like 20 degrees. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set up a shop light inside and I'm just gonna keep them inside for the time being. So anyways, I got these shop lights. It does not look like much on Craigslist. I think I paid $40 for five of them. The bulbs go here and then there's like a metal part that covers all these wires. But what I didn't know is that it's wired to hook directly up to the ceiling. I need it to be able to plug in. So I got this extension cord. It's a three-pronged one, so it can be grounded, which is safer for outside. And I'm going to basically cut off this end with the holes, and I'm going to attach it to this wiring here. With these wire nuts. Now, my dad's an electrician. I've done stuff like this before. It's fairly simple, but hopefully I don't screw it up. <laughs> First, I'm gonna cut off this end. Not sure. Oh, okay, that was super easy. I'm gonna take an X-Acto knife. It is a little dirty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off the black part and I don't wanna cut the wires inside. So I'm gonna be very gentle. Last time I did this, I cut my finger. So I'm not gonna do that this time. I'm just gonna do it slowly and carefully. You can buy wire shipping tools at Home Depot and they're not super expensive, but I did not want to spend money on that, so I did not. Um, all right, there we go. As you can see on the inside, there are wires. And these wires are going to connect to this shop light. I'm gonna call my dad and consult him about this part because I don't quite remember what to do. Okay, I've got some updates. I didn't strip this enough, so he said I need two inches sticking out, so I'm gonna go back and do that. And then once I strip off this larger black part, I need to strip off the coating on these little parts, and he said I need a quarter of an inch on that. Also, he told me to use the orange wire nuts. I guess I'm gonna get to it. Well, these three wires have been stripped. I have a white and a black wire, which will be connected to this white and black wire. And then this green wire will be connected to this little screw here. And I'm gonna feed these through this little hole. To make sure this reaches, I'm going to do the green one first. And I need a screwdriver for this. Screwdriver. I'm going to loosen it. I'm going to twist this a little bit to keep all the threads of the wire together. I'm going to curve it like so. I don't know if you can see that. And it's going to hook around here. And then I'm going to tighten it down. Make sure all those wires, oh gosh, stay in there. We have the black and the white. I'm gonna take the white first, twist it a little so that the wires all kind of stick together. And I'm gonna kind of twist them together a little bit. And then they go inside the wire nut. And then you twist it to the right, righty tighty. Okay, and it should be good to go. And then you do the same with the black one. To finish this, I'm just gonna wrap it up with electrical tape a little bit. I have some electrical tape. I'm just going to cut a piece. 
and my dad said to wrap it around the wire nut just to keep it in place. Like that. And I'm gonna do the same to the black one. So now it should be good to go. I also brought out fluorescent light tube. I'm going to attach it and then plug this in to see if it works. So, moment of truth. I'm gonna put this light bulb in. It's in. I have to plug this in. It's on or it's plugged in. I don't know. I don't know about this. I'm gonna try the other light. Oh my gosh. Okay, it is on, kind of. It's blinking a lot. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's kind of nauseous. How do I get it to not blink? Well, it works, kind of. Uh, I don't know what the deal is with the other socket. Maybe I should try another light bulb. I'm unsure, but at least there's one that works. Okay, I'm gonna go get another light bulb and see if this will work. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. They're both so bright now. Holy cow. It kind of hurts to look at it. That's amazing. I'm so excited. Well, now I have a grow light. Yay. I just went through all my seeds, which you can see over there. Gonna plant a ton of things and get this set up whenever I undo one, the other one gets so dark. Okay, now I have to put in this little case thing that goes in the middle. I assume just traps the wires inside. There it is! Yay! I feel accomplished. What do you think? Hi! Here is my little grow light setup. It's just in my living room. I balanced it on coconut oil containers and I can fit two of these grow trays under it. I might try to connect another one to a plug tomorrow to put right here so I can put some more uh, trays underneath it. But yeah, that's what I have so far. <laughs> 